In this video we're going to go over menu navigation items uh, and how to link them to nodes and how it all kind of works out. So really quick just let me show you uh, this is an administrator screen so if you don't see everything I see um, it's okay unless you're missing things that you need. Now what you want to do for ES in particular is go down to group and this is where you're going to look behind the scenes at the menu. So the menus item is right here. And this is our overall menu, kind of where everything gets siloed for ES. Now each one of these are menu items, and each one of these menu items are linked to a node. Now to find out which node they are, or how to switch that node, you'll go over here to the right to edit. So we'll go look at HR, edit that, and right here is the path. Now, it's a relative link to node 680, and this is why keeping track of all of those nodes is so important for Drupal, it's because that's the easiest and most efficient way to link between pages of content for Drupal. Now, as you can see, it is enabled. We have room here for a description and this shows up when you're hovering over the link and the parent link where it goes in. You can see it's under employee services because it's HR and you can go underneath anything that's already up in your menu. Now to switch a node it's as easy as deleting this and typing in whatever you want. Now uh, we're gonna go back to 680 if you're just filling in menu navigation and you don't have any nodes that you want to attach to it, you can do this. And then when they click on the menu item, it will bring up the add content page. Now keep in mind, once you build that page, it does not change this path number um, to the page that you built. You have to go back in and add the node from the page that you built. So. Just make sure you keep that in mind. Now, um, this is for editing a uh, menu that's already up there, and I'm doing this because we already have the navigation for ES all built out. But if you need to add another link, you do it right here with the add item. And that's going to take you to this, and it's a blank slate, basically. So we're going to put up Owen's example. And we're going to do node add and you're hovering over Owen's example and we're going to show as expanded now this means that if it's selected the menu has children then they will always appear as expanded we're actually going to put it under uh, employee services itself and put the weight now this shows where it will come up with in the menu itself the lower the number the higher up it will be the higher the number the farther to the right it will be for the horizontal navigation for vertical if it's bigger number it will be near the bottom lower number will be up at the top so we're going to put it at 50 so it shows up after site feedback click save on that it'll automatically refresh the page once we exit out of here and you'll see it pop up right here there you go just made a new menu item and this is the same way you do any of these that come up beneath it and these have all of the um, expanded children enabled as you can see so we're going to go here and click on it and it's going to bring up the add content page. And this is where you can add the content because we didn't put a node number in there. We put in node add. And we're going to, we don't really like Owen's example being up there. So we're going to go up there and uh, not only disable it, but we're just going to delete it. And so we go back to list links under the menu uh, item in your group. And you'll want to scroll all the way down to Owen's example or whichever one you're getting rid of, and you want to click delete. And
and confirm. And once we exit out of here, phone's example will disappear. And that's how you link a menu item uh, with a note and how to put it into your existing menu navigation.